hi guys a new video on the markets let's um, give it a go the biggest question I'm always wondering myself is it time to buy because I'm sitting on fiat and I want to buy crypto Bitcoin cash specifically we just saw a new low that went to about I think three I know four hundred and ten dollars four hundred and thirteen dollars that was a new low um, and, and and so yeah I've been doubting a lot uh, should I buy or not mm. but uh, but but for that the big question is um, yeah how's the risk reward right now uh, to buy and um, um, I will speak about the general market for the most part uh, because um, uh, I think that is the most important question um, and um, uh, first I have to set the record straight I've been telling for a long time that uh, the uh, altcoins bottomed not uh, together with Bitcoin uh, in the previous bear market in the 2014-2015 uh, but that actually altcoins bottomed a lot later uh, Bitcoin bottomed already after one year bear market in January 2015 when it went down from $1,150 to $160 but but many of the altcoins actually bottomed a year later by the end of that year 2015 in December I remember NXT bottomed only then um, but uh, a, a viewer pointed out to me uh, that uh, actually uh, that's not uh, the, the case the bottom in altcoins was not um, 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 in uh, the end of 2015 it was much sooner uh, thanks for that Victors so what Victor showed me was this screen here um, uh, this is a uh, very interesting this is from coin signals dot trade uh, and uh, and you can uh, fill in uh, you can get um, an overview of uh, the information that is published on coin market cap but uh, it's much more usable here uh, and, uh, and 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 what he showed me was that um, let me make this a little smaller uh, that um, that altcoins bottomed uh, not in January even of uh, 2015 but it bottomed in um, August here of uh, 2014 so half a year before that um, and so this is the altcoin market cap uh, as is published on coin market cap um, and uh, it starts very early already in 2013 uh, we see the bubble here from 2013 uh, but um, uh, it's true that altcoins actually bottomed here uh, and then uh, it's very weird here because in 2015 in January when Bitcoin bottoms about right here uh, altcoins actually have gone up a lot already but why is this happening It's because uh, Ripple uh, did a very uh, strange move here if you look at uh, Ripple uh, Ripple uh, went up in that period so here you see the bubble of 2013 then the bear market of 2014 but as you can see ripple here bottoms out in the middle um, and then it goes up a lot uh, towards the end of the year November December you see here at uh, the green is the US dollar price ripple goes up from uh, basically times 10 or so from the middle of 2014 0.004 cents to the end of 2014 0.02 cents times 20 or so uh, yeah uh, so 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 but actually the general market did not do this at all a bitcoin uh, if you remember went down the whole for the whole year 2014 here and found a new low in january so while while ripple went up a lot uh, actually bitcoin continued to go down together with all other coins uh, uh, for example this is litecoin uh, and, and bitcoin did the same it went uh, down basically the whole year of 2014 uh, and here we are in August it also finds a new low here at four dollars but it continues to go down and in January 2015 when Bitcoin bottoms at 160 Litecoin bottoms at 130 dollars so 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 and this is also the case with uh, uh, Dash for example was already in existence under another name Darkcoin but also found a bottom not in the middle of 2014 but at the end of 2014 in January at one dollars and the middle of 2014 is still two dollars uh, uh, Peercoin, for example, also actually this is 
um, a coin uh, this is 2014 the bubble it goes down uh, and it's only finds a low here in January also uh, at 30 cents in the middle of 2014 around August is still at 80 cents um, but um, but there are some actually uh, but but Peercoin for example here clearly finds a, a bottom uh, in 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 at 30 cents here the start of the year and, and one year later it's at 40 cents uh, actually it goes down it finds a bottom Peercoin not in January but half a year a couple months later at 20 cents. Um, but NXT I remember I was invested in that for. Uh, big and uh, this one um, was a disaster in January 2015 it finds a new low uh, here at uh, one cent but uh, it continues to go down over the year 2015 the whole year you see that down 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 and by January 2015 it finds a low uh, not at one cent but at 0 0.005 cents again cut in two uh, uh, but that's why my view was skewed because uh, of NXT. But uh, actually, uh, I realized that um, if you look at everything except Ripple, then uh, you can indeed say that uh, the bottom of altcoins uh, was um, together with Bitcoin in January of 2015. I think this is very important because uh, that means that, um, well, it's most likely for the, this bear market that we're in that altcoins, with a few exceptions, Mm, uh, will also bottom uh, at the same time that Bitcoin bottoms uh, uh, and so some can like bottom sooner some can bottom later but many will bottom at the same time and so for me I want to invest in Bitcoin Cash while uh, I should um, uh, invest uh, the biggest part when I expect Bitcoin also to bottom so then the question is, uh, when does Bitcoin bottom and when does uh, the altcoin market, uh, 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 the, just the general market, when will it most likely bottom? And, and I think uh, a very interesting critique uh, on, on, on my viewpoint here, uh, in my viewpoint is that it's only in, uh, that the bear market will last most likely one year and a half. Uh, and so that's by middle 2019. But I also have to admit that uh, the drawdowns have already been uh, big enough. For example, this is an interesting chart and tweet by Dave the Wave. Huh? Uh, perhaps an even simpler method of measuring the corrections to take the FIP from the bottom to the peak instead of from the recovery of the previous high. So from the bottom to the peak, yes, that's how you should measure a bull huh? from bottom to peak. And from bottom to peak that's well done uh, and then um, um, notice that once again the corrections are the same yet bears continue to think that present correction is not as deep um, yeah so so I'm, I'm, I'm a bear uh, but I do think that uh, it is correct to state here that the correction has already been as deep today as the previous bear market if you look at uh, the increase so the, the increase here, uh, the previous bear market, uh, if you count the total increase and then how deep did it go, uh, it, it went to uh, 0 0.236 here. Uh, and if you uh, measure the new bull market here from, from 15, 16, 17, um, and, and you measure uh, compared to that rise, the correction, we're already at the same correction of 0 0.236 where the previous bottom was found in 2014. So from that perspective, uh, we can say that we already reached the low and, um, and so that we most likely have seen the bottom in prices and from here it's going to go sideways and after that up. But, but I think this, this chart um, forgets a few very important points. Um, the first point uh, is that um, you should look at the Trollo chart. Yeah. Uh, you should look at that, and this is not presented here, this is the same logarithmic rise of the total market cap, uh, but, oh sorry, no, this is just Bitcoin, eh? so that, 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 that's already the first mistake you should do, look at total market cap, uh, not just Bitcoin, 
but uh, the second one is that you don't see this logarithmic uh, rise or you do see it with difficult but um, yeah uh, let's look at uh, the total market cap uh, I don't know if this is uh, applies but I would expect it's the same situation that the total market cap already co corrected more than enough if you look at its rise it's, it, it, it's sufficient but um, I think um, yeah what's very important is if you then look at the total market cap uh, of um, on the Trololo chart which we're doing here um, then um, it's not uh, fully complete we're already at uh, the end of 2018 and this blue line just goes down to the trend line we're right here right now at the trend line but um, why, why why is 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 it unlikely that we've seen the bottom um, well because uh, this spread here has gone down now uh, by to the end of 2019 to, to about zero and uh, we're at fair valuation about 220 billion um, that's where the trend line is now uh, but um, I, I think that um, we haven't seen undervaluation yet um, uh, and so uh, if you look at previous bears when was the low found uh, well in 2015 you see here January 2015 that was where the actual low was of, uh, of many coins um, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Peercoin uh, uh, but undervaluation is here at minus 50% about eh? here you can see this was minus 46% so it's a bit higher it's minus 55 minus 60% is the undervaluation here compared to the trend line that was the same point as uh, early 2015 here huh? so you see the trend line is here but actual prices are here so um, it's hard to see but it's about minus 50% minus 60% um, uh, we're not, we, we haven't seen such undervaluation yet compared to the trend line uh, right now uh, trend line is 220 billion so that would be about if it would go right now to 110 billion 100 billion then yes we, 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 we would see indeed that uh, we have again a minus 50% undervaluation and so it becomes extremely likely that uh, we've seen the bottom in prices but uh, that's not the case yet um, this is important i think um uh, why uh, because well <coughs> we, we can learn so much here this is also overlooked in that other chart from dave the wave is that we can see that compared to the trend line the bear markets become stronger and stronger undervaluation becomes higher and higher compared to the trend line very important uh, the same we can see that bubbles uh, bulls go lower and lower in overvaluation this is a trend down down so um, for the next bear market it is likely that we will see an undervaluation higher than minus 70 percent so um, maybe minus well most likely it's going to be minus 80 percent maybe peaking out at minus 85 percent compared to the trend line so uh, right now I think even though it is difficult uh, to decide when to buy in a bear market uh, the same as it is difficult to, to decide where to sell in a bull market but but I don't think it's that difficult yet uh, if you uh, keep the troll or chart in front of you because we're just at fair valuation the points that it becomes really difficult is when you go to serious undervaluation where you achieve this here huh? Uh, should you buy here well er, you would say yes uh, but actually the risk reward ratio become became a lot better uh, one year later and even almost two years later it was a lot better even though prices had gone up and uh, the risk reward ratio became even better so 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 uh, and this is to be expected this is the period where okay you have that final a uh, low reached for Bitcoin many other altcoins but what happens in 2015 but what happens after that you have a sideways movement that took a long time um, and, and prices do go up uh, you don't see that low anymore but you do come close to it quite often again um, but in the meantime you see growth uh, everywhere in the industry the amount of transactions goes up the amount of uh, companies accepting the currency goes up the amount of uh, features uh, goes up the 
usability of the clients becomes much better. So you see adoption really increasing, but prices barely increasing. Uh, and then the risk reward becomes better and better. And this is what we see here. Um, and just the trend line continues to go up. Um, and so, 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 so the undervaluation becomes higher and higher. And so we're certainly not there yet. We have not seen a sideways movement yet in prices. Uh, but, but those become much more difficult uh, periods to decide when to sell. Uh, I, I, I'm, quite, like, I'm, I'm quite confident because I made so many mistakes in the past. Everybody was there to see the, my biggest mistake in the bull market of 2017. When I decided here at an overvaluation of about 200%, um, uh, uh, or no, sorry, uh, 70%. I just had made my first roll of video in the middle of 2017. Uh, and I was right here and overvaluation was about 100% above the trend line. I was right here. Uh, it has, it just had gone up quite steeply, mm, had corrected. And it was when Bitcoin went from uh, to about, what was it, $2,800 and then corrected to uh, $1,800. And then on the bounce up, I sold a lot of crypto. Um, uh, because I believed that we had hit the high and, um, and, 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 and we would likely see a long-term bear market there. Um, and that was a big mistake. And I made that mistake only weeks after I made my first roll of video where it clearly showed that it was only 100% overvaluation. Uh, and, and, and it was most likely, as I say literally in the video, that overvaluation will go to 700%, which it actually did later on. And so, 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 um, um, yeah, I just learned from that, that I should listen to myself a little bit more, uh, and also just emotions. It was the fear taking a hold of me. If you have watched back those videos, I was fearful of losing my profits again. Uh, and, and that's the problem in a bull market when to sell, it kept me busy so much and I was afraid to lose my profits and, 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 and I wanted to lock them in. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's. That's the biggest mistake uh, most investors make in a bull market is sell too soon uh, and way too soon in the ca case of crypto. Mm, uh, but the troller shirt really can help you in that. Uh, 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 but it's inversely also true in a bear market right now. Uh, the biggest mistake is to buy too soon, uh, afraid of missing out. FOMO. Uh, I feel that strongly. A uh, fear of missing out. Uh, I have that fear. Bitcoin Cash $400, it's a steal, it's a buy. In my opinion, as a value investor, this is already a great buy. What am I trying to do to buy this lower and risking to be left behind? This is a question I'm asking often. And um, But I have to be rational. It was the same in the inverse when the bull market was there, like made very good money. Why am I risking that to make more? Uh, like that's what convinced me to start selling quite aggressively, but that's just fear. It's fear talking. You have to stay rational and look at the charts and just have a, 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 an objective way to measure whether the asset you're invested in is overvalued or undervalued. If it's overvalued, it's time to sell, but not at a slight overvaluation. If in the past it has gone up to serious, much higher overvaluation, it should huddle. Uh, until you're there and only start uh, uh, selling when you're really like approaching that. And so in this case, like with the Trollo chart, no, you should never be selling in a bull market at 100% valuation. If in the past it has gone to 1,900, 500, okay, the next bull market will likely go to like at least 300. So you shouldn't be selling at 100% overvaluation, but you st should start selling if you expect it's going to be like 300 could be the peak. Yeah, then you should start selling at 200% aggressively. Um, um, but the same in a bear market, okay, uh, uh, if we expect uh, is most uh, most likely that we will see compared to the trend line undervaluation of minus 80%, when sh should you start buying? Well, uh, when you have that first serious undervaluation where, poss where likely also the, the, the fiat bottoms will be reached, then you should start buying aggressively, but not before. Um, and, and even when you reach that, you, you could say like, how much of your portfolio should you invest? Well, I have right now 30%.
percent in crypto or twenty percent twenty um uh, is that enough uh, if you're at fair valuation but in a clear downtrend yes it's enough because um uh, uh, but when you reach that minus fifty percent under valuation how much should i be allocating then well uh, 50 50 is certainly reasonable or 60 40 uh, or uh, i could go uh, full retard to 100 percent but i think that's too soon here eh? but a majority crypto is certainly justified like 60 40 and so that's when i plan to buy strong but um but i i think it's still wise to keep um well <laughs> From a risk reward perspective, it's wise to still keep a fiat on the sidelines then because uh, because you will get a long period of sideways movement and, and you will get a lot better risk reward ratio and have a lot more info coming in over that period after uh, which coins are, are the better investments. Uh, but uh, I might not do that. I might really try to go all in uh, on that first minus 50% uh, under valuation and, and, and right now actually the odds are very good to to see that happening six thousand us dollars for bitcoin has uh hold uh, very well but uh, a wall that gets hit more and more uh is most likely to break not to hold so 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 it is just like a very high probability i think right now that six thousand sooner over the next few months breaks and we see a breakdown uh to half of that and, and altcoins just follow uh, suit for the most part with a few exceptions and um, and that's where I think you're gonna be able to buy uh, the lows so voila uh, important uh, but there are many other indicators actually uh, that we have not seen the same kind of bear market uh, as in, uh, in, uh, in, in 2014 for example uh, I like these shirts from Coinmetrics uh, a tweet from Coinmetrics uh, Bitcoin volatility is on a slow decline, uh, but it's still not uh, at the 2015 low. Uh, uh, so this is Bitcoin volatility. Uh, you see the bear market of 2014. So typically in a bull market, volatility goes up a lot. Uh, but then in a bear market goes down, down and down. And, and you see that in the prices also. We used to have uh, bounces from uh, it going down from 20k to... Uh, what was it uh, 10k up to 16k from 16k to uh, how much was it uh, 6k for the first time bounced very strong to 12k back to 6k but only goes up to 8k uh, back to 6k only goes up to 7k so the volatility goes down uh, in a bear market and as the interest uh, declines uh, and, uh, and yeah uh, just um, the energy levels go down so, so you can see that in the Bitcoin volatility index here, um, uh, it goes down, 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 and at, uh, it goes to uh, from 0 0.1 to 0 0.02, um, and it stays very low. So you have the bear market of 2014 here, uh, but then you have uh, till January 2015, uh, is the bear market volatility still pretty high, but then the year after, in the first sideways year, uh, 2015 volatility goes down again and stays pretty low even when um, uh, the bull market has started uh, and so uh, what he's saying is that uh, the volatility right now let me pull this up is not at these low levels uh, we're now uh, here uh, and uh, and the volatility is um, is still way above the low levels that were seen in the bear market of 2014 first reached and then we're coming back uh, in the start of the bull market these kind of low volatility uh, prices uh, uh, ratios have not uh, been seen and should be seen uh, because um, Bitcoin is a much larger uh, asset today so volatility per definition goes down already uh, and so I sp and should reach new lows uh, in this uh, in this in this bear market so uh, the same the, the highs were not as high at the previous bull market was much more volatile than the recent bull market so uh, this should find new lows and we've not seen that yet this is just another indicator and many other indicators actually uh, uh, coin metrics uh, io has a very good um uh, had some very good uh, charts so um i think that's that's it for the most part uh, i hope um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
is there anything else I want to say about this? Um, well, yeah, just uh, my critique here. Um, what was it here? Let me just check that. Yeah, just uh, psychologically also, uh, we're not there yet. Uh, uh, everybody's uh, asking themselves if we have seen the bottom now. And this is not typical for a real bottom. A real bottom uh, is like a real... Uh, it's my Twitter, eh? I'm now going over some tweets I've been making, but that that, that is... Yeah, uh, I think it's very uh, true that a real top is when nobody's asking anymore whether we've seen the top, but everybody's thing is going to go higher. And that was me included in the previous bull market at the end of 2017, even though I made bearish calls and I warned people. At the same time, um, I also believed it would go higher. Huh? So uh, that's typical. Uh, and, 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 and so, of course, today I'm believing it's going to go lower. So maybe we've seen the bottom from that perspective. But it's not what I think that matters here. It's what the general market is thinking. And the general crypto market, are they thinking and asking themselves today, like, did we see the bottom? Yes or no? I think that's a yes. Like many uh, noobs and newbies and unexperienced investors have entered in 2017 and are still in the market today and hoping that we've seen the bottom. And 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 um, and, um, and that's not typical. Uh, yeah, that's not typical uh, for a real bottom. Uh, it's only when these people are out of the market for the most part, have stopped hoping and are becoming uh, negative. And, and, and when we see a new bottom that uh, most of people don't ask whether we've seen a bottom, but are talking about how, how, how deep it will go if they are still talking, because most don't talk anymore. They are gone out of the market. Um, and should we see a bear market like that? No. Uh, no, 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 uh, there is no guarantee that we see bear market. I also um, uh, was wrong about expecting, uh, like uh, I changed my mind when it comes to the general stock market. I don't believe we will see a negative year uh, this year for the stock market and odds are low, I think, to see a, a negative year. Uh, it can happen, but uh, we're, we're certainly uh, not in, 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 in the new records of bull markets there. I was wrong. So, so, so that, that point falls away. Um, but but yeah, uh, it's for that that I really recommend to have a small exposure to crypto, nothing certain. But uh, if you look at the probabilities, I think a small exposure is uh, justified, but not a large exposure. Um, and, and also something I keep on repeating, uh, but I think it's extremely important is that fundamentals of the market leader Bitcoin have weakened a lot. It's not uh, like previous bear markets. Bitcoin continued to grow in amount of transactions in previous bear markets, even though the price collapsed strongly. Uh, but this is not the case today anymore. Uh, the amount of uh, Bitcoin has just collapsed a lot more in uh, the amount of transactions. Uh, and, as, um, and this is very bad news uh, because when, when the bear market is there, and when people become pessimistic, they will look for evidence whether uh, it's justified to be pessimistic. And new investors will also look that especially new capital will look for, like, okay, what's the real story here? Is this uh, like, is crypto dying for real or is it not dying? And uh, it, I, I think at that point, if they will look at Bitcoin, they can actually make a case that it is dying, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, it is actually failing uh, in adoption in minds of merchants does not go up like it did in previous bear markets, actually going down. Uh, um, uh, like, so, 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 so this negative news still has to be priced in, I think, uh, and will show, uh, uh, has a very good chance to show in this bear market. And I think that markets don't work that way, that one coin gets punished and the other one gets rewarded. Um, uh, the market leader just pulls up everything and pulls down everything. The capital always goes first to the market leader. And so um, in a bear market where Bitcoin gets punished more uh, because of weak fundamentals, I think this will show in the whole market and will pull down everything as everything is connected to the price of Bitcoin. Most altcoins are traded um, uh, versus Bitcoin for the most part still today. Uh, and so if Bitcoin collapses in fiat, the rest just goes down with it. So this is also not taken into account if you look at a chart like this, like, oh yeah, it cor cor corrected as much as previous bear markets, so it's finished. 
well there are some differences here between this bear market and a previous bear market uh, uh, that is totally new uh, weak fundamentals of bitcoin never happened before uh, so that's also uh, i think a critique on this uh, chart um and then uh, yeah that's it for the most part uh, i think um i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video um uh, is there anything else i can add um, oh and wonder now makes uh, uh trollo charts uh, and trollo it's been a, a long time that he made an update so you may want to uh, subscribe to him it's uh, interesting um and what else I like this Murat uh, Mahmudov also, uh, interesting chart here, how we expect 6k to break. Uh, you can see all these also on my Twitter page, but yeah, coinmetrics.io uh, is the most important um, one. Um, there was another one also from him that I really find interesting indicators um, on why um, we likely didn't see the low yet, but uh, I, I don't know by head uh, which one it was. But yeah, take a look at that page too. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, wish you all a great day.